Hey guys, it's me, Amber. I'm Nikki. And we are back today. We're starting a new show. We did a poll over on our Patreon and the show Scandal won the poll, which if, if you guys know, we're doing two Shonda Rhimes shows already. <laughs> so this is our third Shonda Rhimes show that we're hopping into, but this is an amazing show. I definitely watched all of Scandal. It's been, I haven't watched it since it was new, so... I feel like, you know, this rewatch is still going to be a little surprising. <laughs> of course, I remember all the uh, major plot points, but there's going to be a lot of details I forgot. But she hasn't seen it at all. I'm always feeling like the newbie. <laughs> and I yeah. feel like every time you say she hasn't seen it, they're like, what? I know, I know. She's a busy, she's a busy woman. <laughs> she don't have a lot of time. Okay, so let's get into Scandal, you guys. I'm not telling her nothing about it. I don't know anything. Yeah. But so, it's about politics. Yeah, that's it. So let's hop right into it, guys. And this is a very popular show. Yes. Right? I can't stay. What are you drinking? I only came because Lori wouldn't give me your number, so I cancel. I didn't want you to be waiting here, because even though I don't know you, Lori's got this annoying habit of meddling, so it seemed really what are you drinking? I can't stay. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't want to ask you who I work for. Fine, who do you work for? Olivia Pope. Olivia Pope. This is not a blind date. On blind dates, I like to buy a woman dinner. Then you know you're on a date. Okay. <laughs> we had a bar. Olivia already told me to hire you. The job is yours if you want it. Best job you ever had. You'll change lives, slay dragons, live behind more than you ever dreamed because Olivia Pope is as amazing as this. I want a job. I don't know what it entails. I know. It seemed like fun. <laughs> a gladiator in a suit because that's what you are when you work for. I want to be a gladiator in a suit. <laughs> right. Sounds like fun. Someone talk to me like that for a job interview. Okay. I'm like, yes. Sounds the best job you If ever you get that speech for McDonald's workers, I'm sure you'll have the best McDonald's worker. <laughs> right. <laughs> You're saving lives okay. in this McDonald's. They hungry out there. <laughs> <laughs> Ukrainian mobsters do not take what you give them, they just shoot you. So we have bigger things to worry about than me not proposing to my girlfriend. We're in a situation and a focus to what you do. Do what you do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Poor people talk fast. Yeah. Put the money? Of course. I'll three million. Is that six? Can we? Yeah. <laughs> three. I have three stuff. We need the three. We need to back with the rest. We have a D. She thought she was walking out. Mm-hmm. Good. I am gonna take what we take. Pleasure doing business with you. I thank you. My client thanks you, and I hope to never see you again. Oh, you was <laughs> over there pooping in your pants. Okay. In the elevator. Olivia, know what she doing? We gave them three million. They gave us the package. Three million down. What was We're just waiting for pickup. Too much cleavage. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't know that was coming. She thought she was going on a blind date. Okay. <laughs> 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 oh, whose baby is that? <laughs> oh. oh, that's a package. Anything you put your hand, you have a second child. No, not have any more kids. You're getting them kidnapped. Okay. <laughs> Living that life. Okay. How many zeros is on there? Can't see. <laughs> Maybe it was the other three million. Oh. Maybe. I don't know. They just left. She's like, uh. <laughs> We've got incoming. Stop for hours. Take a message. We're going home. Not on the phone. Here. You want to talk to him. Oh God, he walking like he got a hernia. Yeah, girl. Oh, he bloody. bloody. Somebody has to help me, please. My girlfriend. Oh God. She's dead. Mm. How did she die, Chet? Welcome to Olivia Pope and Associates. Oh, just walking in after hours? <laughs> Come, I'm making an appointment. <laughs> I will call you. Who's the dead girlfriend? Paige Montgomery, 27. Rich girl, good family. The was found dead in her apartment. Three shots to the head. And you what? have blood all over you. Yeah. What's going to propose? Get married. That's the same person said they was going to propose. Mm. I to her apartment. I found her like that. I called the police. And I, I, I panicked. I didn't know what to do. I thought that they would think that I did it. Well, you called the police and you left. That don't look good. Yeah. Hearing about him. I walked at night. Around the neighborhood, I was, I was walking and I stepped into Maddie's pub and I had a beer and then I kept walking and I went to go see. Why were you walking around so much? 
He's a soldier. Government issue trained killing machine. You'd have to be an idiot to get a blood all over himself. Call 911. True. Mm. I don't want to take it because it's too messy, too much work. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but yeah, because like, if you did it, why would you run and be like, help me? I don't know. Yeah. With blood all over you, you know? Yeah. Your insured can put you in Stephen's office. It's not to work, not to friends, not to press. No one. Your job is to stay in that office and let us do our job. I'm like, okay. Exactly. I always wonder. I wish I had money to just let lawyers just handle my life. Right. Honestly. Lawyers. <laughs> You know you got money if you got lawyers. Girl. Else you want to tell me? She was my best friend. I loved her. I love that I do not remember if he did it or not. I have no Nick. clue, so I love that. <laughs> I'm like, hmm, mystery. <laughs> yes. Why am I not surprised that you're on this? He didn't kill her. My gut says he didn't. Okay. Spidey sense. <laughs> That's spidey sense. You are considering a bid on the Democratic ticket next year, just to be clear. That was me threatening you. Mm. Yeah, until morning. 36 hours. 24 so. hours. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I was aiming for that anyway. Right. Go home. I'm not telling you a thing. You don't have to. I'll just take a quick peek at the crime scene. How's your wife, Wally? She's what, six months pregnant? Does she know about the stripper? Ooh. You're a real bitch, Miller. I do know that, Wally. I work hard on it. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> it's not easy to get. Okay. Maintain. Right. <laughs> That's the gun. Somebody like chased her. Oh my god. Shot her there. Uh, and left the gun. weapon? We're fixers. Crisis matters. If we make the problems of our client big or small, go away. It's not about solving a crime. It's not about justice. They try to solve it before it goes to court. Yeah, we're going to solve it whether you're right or wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an ass. You slept with me and didn't call me. I'm getting married. You're getting married, you. Her name is Georgia. She teaches third grade, which is why... I don't care. Yeah, like, what do you think she think? I want to hear that. Exactly. He's even more locked out. Right. What do you want? I need you to fast track an autopsy slip in the report. Dang. Gotta know people. Gotta know people. That's right. You've been here all night. Hey, don't you people ever sleep? Don't any of you have husbands, wives, and kids lying? No. <laughs> That's easy. Okay. Yeah. You better get used to it, girly. Okay. Me and my Chappelle show that the um copy uh uh Oh yeah he does copy. the same huh? Yeah <laughs> Hilarious <laughs> That was the funniest skit It was so good Guy's alibi is water, bloody clones, and he's alive. He killed her. Definitely killed her there. <laughs> Gun was found on the scene. I'll work the cops. Find out of 30. Why would he leave it though? Also they should have dusted his fingertips for gunpowder yeah. or something. We need more. So what happens now? What's more? more gotta look into her life and see who would have wanted to do that yeah. or maybe maybe someone did it because of him wanting to get at him i don't know hi hello how are you what he needs a favor there's a girl and i need you to shut her down you want me to shut her down then i need to look him in the eye and know he's not lying that is my gut okay he wants my services i do not work for him anymore so you tell the president of the united states to make time Okay. Let's <laughs> stand on that. You know, she's on, it's always her playing field. That's right. I won't be gone long. Is she going to look nice for the president? Girl. The White House is too official. You got to let you a little bit of cleavage. Just a little bit. Denial, friends. He's the leader of the free world. He makes me feel unsuccessful. Yes. I'm talking about asking Georgia to marry me. Yes. <laughs> if Why you ask her? I was gonna sure, say, man. you asking other people? Don't do it. Normal life, sex. You free. seem like you like right to be free. Yeah. You won't even date. I'm not normal. <laughs> I don't know if you have this job, maybe you don't want to do that because it seems like you don't have time. Yeah, exactly. And she's going to be one of your time. Yes. They found something. Age sent an email to a friend, Ariel Massey. On the night of the murder, they were supposed to attend an embassy party together. So why did she go? I don't know. Don't ever say I don't know. Maybe he doesn't believe it. I don't know. Dig deeper. Oh, I just can't believe she's dead. Ariel, you can cry. That's understandable, but it's not going to make me go away. Why aren't you telling me? Not you suck the tears back up real quick, girl. <laughs> Was it ever real? Hi, hello, how are you? Better. <laughs> how are you? 
Are you dating anybody? Because there's this guy at council's office. I think you've really hit it off with. That's what I need. Somebody needs to be hooking up with high-powered people. Girl. Yeah. You know I did not fall for some young girl. No, you put your happy together, Liv. You have no reason to cheat. You don't know that? You ain't his willy? <laughs> <laughs> you ain't his willy. Like, yeah, like, he hanging in his pants. Right. You don't know, know what which way he's swinging. To. Right. Where are we? Waiting on forensics on the gun to come in. Oh. She just ruined some guy named Tom Henderson. She canceled on the MC. That's our Christina. We have another Bible subject. Crazy as a whore. <laughs> I'm going to run down Henderson and see if I can make something sick. <laughs> Clint, I need you She's so excited about it. Can I ask what we're acting as eyewitness? Just stay by my side. Don't say anything. Cute dog. Golden Retriever? Yeah. Mm, you can imagine it's shedding with that dog. Oh, well, but he's very presidential. So a Golden Retriever? Yeah. Who are you? My name is Olivia Pope. See, I'm only here to warn you because you should know what could happen. All kinds of information about you would easily become available. Why she looks so sad? You've had 22 <sighs> sexual partners that we know of. Also, there's that ugly bout of gonorrhea. Mm. Your family. Your mother's mental illness, a psychotic break. Two years at Bedford Hospital. I bet that's private. She what did you think was going to come out of this? <sighs> yeah. He gave me his dog. See, it's those he gave me things. his dog. I'll give you some free advice. Hand in your resignation and pack up your dog and your things. Small city, Minneapolis, maybe, or Denver. And I gotta relocate? Boy, boy, make some friends. Because in this town, your career is over. You should have been yapping. I'm a good person. Then why were you yapping? If you get subpoenaed in front of a grand jury, she's horrified. I didn't blackmail or threaten her. If you don't get subpoenaed, this never happened. It's She's like, what just happened? Okay. <laughs> Look at her. Is she crying? Oh. She said, what have I got myself oh, into? Girl. Crying. <laughs> well, don't let Olivia see you doing that. <gasps> she doesn't believe in crying. She doesn't believe it. <laughs> she doesn't believe it. What is that? Who says that? Olivia. She says that. <laughs> Period. Why did she hire me? She must get a hundred resumes. Why me? What about me? What about me says stand next to Ask her. Ask her. a girl walking her dog. Why did you want to work with her? You worship her. You want to be her. You, you had to know something to about her. Because you need to believe that there's something greater than a, a nine to five crap job. That there's a higher purpose. That your life has meaning because the world feels big and you feel lost he seemed like he's speaking mm -hmm. some truth olivia pope fixes things that's who she is everyone in this office needs fixing you're a stray dog and olivia took you in no crying we don't cry at least do it at home girl okay. nobody can see you <laughs> put him on i just need a second did you buy her a dog what <laughs> <laughs> he's like on the news right do me a favor turn your head a little to the left <laughs> She's like, I need to look in your eyes. Mm -hmm. Henderson claims that Sully knew he was sleeping with his girlfriend, mm. which gives Sully motive. Mm. Gun found in the murder has Sully's prints all over. Mm. Oh. Did you know Paige was sleeping with Tom Henderson? What? Did you? Yeah. And you heard me. You can't come in here. Yes, she can. Yes, she, she can. can. Whatever the hell she wants, because without her, you are definitely going to jail. Yeah, yeah. let's not keep secrets full. You, you have to tell, tell your lawyer you. everything. What you want? Do you know Paige was sleeping with Tom Henderson? Yes. I didn't like it. <laughs> yeah, I know. Look over our stipend and show you the word war. I prefer people with bars on their uniforms. We're willing to attest to Sully's terrorism and kindness. Damage control. I did not kill Paige. We'll sleep around a lot, She's people. We'll sleep around a lot. I would have forgiven her. Okay. But I didn't kill her. You have to believe in her. Your fingerprints are on the gun. Now that's the thing. <laughs> I'm a soldier. I have looked into the faces of men as I killed them. I know what it means to take a life. I don't know so how. Why would you, put that? Why would you put your fingerprints on a and gun? And then leave it there. Or what kind of soldier are you? Kill <laughs> girl. Did you actually go into active combat? Because how did you survive? I'm not even a soldier. I just watch CSI. Don't touch stuff. Girl. <laughs> I'm like. my shoe prints. Okay. Me somebody, anybody who can say they saw Sully at the time of the murder, make his alibi. Right, he said he was at the bar. Yeah, girl, he is no help. Oh. Yes. Oh, wow. She did all that and bust out for engagement? <laughs> I was like, what's happening here? I thought that was a gun. Huh? She went straight to engagement rings. Right. We all know you want to marry 
her, so pick a damn ring already so we can go find an alibi for Sally St. James. I know where your head's at, but if he doesn't feel that strongly in himself, yeah, it's not going to work. You, you, you're not thinking about the woman. Yeah. Is he going to be there for her? That's right. You don't even have time to date. How is he going to have time to be there for her? You're going to have to fire him. <laughs> exactly. So he can go live a life. Yeah. Amanda, I want you to give him a message. You came to me, and I know he sent you. I know you can give him a message. The conversation is over. Please, I please. Can't <sighs> Time's up, Liv. I have a warrant. Stay out here. Nobody crosses this doorway. <laughs> Get Abby on the phone. Tell her we've been invaded. Tell her to invade. Invaded. <laughs> okay. All right. I show Zoe's picture to everyone in the bar. No one saw him the night of the murder. Oh, great. Mm. What's in the lobby? He's gonna. Sh- <laughs> oh. <laughs> Camera. Oh, cameras. Okay. I have five hundred dollars in cash. Mm. How are you? Five hundred dollars. <laughs> oh, pizza sound good right now. Last night, between 10 and midnight, the bank camera that points northeast towards Maddie's phone. We're going to need a copy of that. The police are here, so I need you to listen. That's... What's the problem? Are you surprised? You're the most decorated hero since the Vietnam War. You come from a family of soldiers. Paige was your best friend. Who are you never? Your best friend. Oh, he's gay. Mm. I don't even know. <laughs> That's what it sounded like to me. He's not like he's not man. your lover. That's why he was so vague. Uh huh. Oh. Okay, but why is she dead Came though? Here, what she? happened? She oh. Was she knew you were gay. The two of you had a deal. You can't show that tape to anyone. I need the name of the man you were kissing. Then you go to jail. You cannot tell people that I'm gay. Okay, well, take your lie all the way to the, to the jail and live you there. You want to be a hero to some people who can't accept you? Right. What big is it, good is it being a hero, exactly. then? I am a hero. I honor uniforms. I honor the uniform. The, uh, the uniform doesn't dictate who you can love. That's right. You're, you're warped, man. Right. The rules have changed. Don't ask, don't tell is over. Yes, talk. I am a conservative Republican. I am publicly That's your choice, bro. You don't got to be that. Publicly anti-gay. It's the ones that be screaming into the top of the lungs. Girl. Eyes up. Close the door is glass. Okay, we see you. Hero. Well, you want know a hero that's going to jail. Mm-hmm. This is who you are. This yeah. is your alibi. Let us help you. Or go to jail. Right. You're going to have to come. I don't got to convince you you're gay. Right. <laughs> you're gay. <laughs> it's right there. Just. No. Sally. Just let it all go so you can live your life. He's going to jail. He'd rather go to... He'd rather go to... Yeah. He'd rather go to jail than, than be outed. Sullivan St. James. <gasps> the right to remain silent. Now that's sad. It's, it's worse to go to jail for murder than go I to jail for being is. a gay? Hey, you see Olivia? Sully was just arrested. Olivia went to the police station. I got a strange call from a girl named Amanda Tam. What about oh. her? She's in the hospital. She tried to kill herself. Oh. I figured that was going to be next. Oh. Damn. Is she telling the truth? I don't remember. She probably is telling the truth. Girl, you know these, you know. I know, because, you know, mm-hmm. my first instinct is to believe her. But it, Olivia's like, he's not lying. So I'm like, uh. is he not lying? I know. I, he's are six and want to bring him till morning. I'll be back. Get in to see Sully, see if you can change his mind. George is gonna be waiting for me at Sharon Ray. We'll work on Sully, go. Why has everybody got to convince you, boy? Girl. Girl. He ain't ready. If she knew that he was going around trying to make everybody tell him yes. what to do, she would be, she'd be, she'd like, be heartbroken. Yeah, she'd be like, oh no, save your engagement. Exactly. Save that. Homie. Exactly. I just want to be a wife. Right. And yeah, maybe these, she should like, hey. Share these responsibilities. If I got to drag him, oh well. She called you right after she did it because she wanted him to find out she was hurt and come see her. She's going on and on and on about how she thought he'd come and call her sweet baby and everything. Maybe she's sweet, sweet baby. baby. What did you say? If he would come if she was hurt, I mean, he would call her sweet baby. And I was just saying, oh, There it is. Oh, snap. You didn't activate something. Girl, yes. The hair bouncing. Girl, it looked it so good. I was just like, okay, I'm going to let it play. I'm not going to comment on it, but <laughs> it looked really good. Steven, I can't talk right now. What's wrong? Okay. She in the Oval Office, girl. Maybe half an hour. Because I'm doing something. <laughs> I'm coming. I, I have to go. What does he want you to tell you what tell you what to say during your engagement? We're gonna end the room, please. 
Yeah. So you have to give the toast to the president of France in 10 minutes. Maybe you can find out. We need the room. Got it, got it. Sweet baby. Sweet, sweet baby. Mm. Oh, yeah. Can I take it to that secret room? <laughs> right? Mm. Is there audio? <laughs> I know. Because you said you wanted to try to dedicate yourself to your marriage. Was that a thing? The free world, and I wanted you to be mm -hmm. a better man. I wanted you to be the man I campaigned for, helped get elected, and I voted for do not touch me. Don't touch me. Please. I knew when she heard that sweet baby, that's something that he must have called her. Yes. She's. Girl, the rapture! The rapture. I can feel oh. it. I can feel it through the screen. <laughs> Girl. Oh, he's not good. Did you give her that hug? And there he go. Slap him and go. I know, right? <laughs> there it yeah, is. There's a slap. Right? Yes, I knew it. I had a feeling yeah. that her, her judgment was clouded because there's something deeper. Yeah, yeah. Oh! Oh! I always kick the mic. He caught the end. He didn't catch it. He had to. That lingered. Yeah, I yeah. I am dying right now. Did he even know from the before? I don't remember. Mr. President, he, you want to go clean up? Sorry. Huh? Yeah, lipstick. Oh, oh, God. Yeah, I got oh. lipstick all over myself, too. Ooh. Ooh. Right. <laughs> my jaw probably hit the bottom of my shirt. Probably got lipstick <laughs> on it right now. <laughs> over clean up my mouth like I was over here kissing somebody. History. You didn't know. He tells you everything. Didn't tell me this. Didn't matter right now. Oh, shit. I forgot the juiciness started like episode one. Like Girl, I'm like, yeah, this is episode one. Mm -hmm. It was like episode five. Right. So much has happened. You're in a coat closet. <laughs> what do you need? You forget the ring or something? No, I have the ring. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Huh? How long have you been mm -hmm. in that coat closet for? I don't think I can. Go with that. Right. Why are y'all forcing him to get married? Oh, she's older than y'all. She doesn't love me enough. They just You're self-aware her. enough to know you don't need yes. a wife. Let He's him go old enough to that. make his own decisions. Yeah. I gotta trust my God. My God is what? Well, live. And my God tells me that it she's was in wrong this. earlier today. She's in this, but he's not in this. Yeah. You have to try. If you try, if you leap, you try, and it doesn't work no, out. No, I don't. It's not on you. It is gonna be on him. Who else is it gonna be on? It's only two people in a relationship. Yeah. I mean, if you do decide to commit, you're going to have to really commit, though. And he's not ready to. Yeah. Oh. She, she's sleeping with a married man. Yeah. She should know. Yeah. True. But he's saying, like, what if I cheat? Like, it's some <laughs> some phenomenon that just happens to you, you know? Girl. That means he's still got urges. Yeah. Damn. She still believes in love after all of that. Better than me. <laughs> Cause I let it go. She's, girl, fake. <laughs> she's still looking at it with them uh, rose colored glasses. Yeah. On. That's why. Yeah. You know, she's putting herself in that. She wants to be her. Right. But right, no, right. you can't. Yeah. See, she's still hurting. Yeah, oh yeah. And you know, either it could be that way, like oh yes, uplifting. Yeah. Or it could be like Debbie Downer. Right. Don't ever marry. I know. I I, know. I, I, I I I just bounce between the two all the time. I really do. <laughs> Uh, you've been living with a secret for a really long time i know what that's like mm. so are we saying that the lover shot her that's what, what i'm saying like did we figure out who shot her reasons you think you're doing it for your country and for the people who look up to you but the thing is who like he are. made his decision i don't need to convince him I know, that right? He called, he wanted help. It shouldn't have to be. Yeah. He figured it out himself. Yeah. Okay, well, bye. Go to jail then, fool. That's what you want. That's more important than coming out, you know? Girl, you don't have to be a conservative Republican. That's your decision. You can brainwashing. always... Brainwashing. Right. You know, all this brainwashing that's yeah. happening. That people can't live their lives yeah. the way they want to. Exactly. The marriage brainwashing. Yeah. And having to be this 
person that right. everyone looks up to brainwashing. Steven's feeling like I have to be married. No, you don't. If you're not feeling it, you're not you feeling don't it. Have to be married. It's, society made those rules That's that right. you have to be married. You go with how you feel. Exactly. So you don't hurt anybody else. That's you're right. Hurting yourself and you're hurting that lady. Yeah. Be brave. I am on. Stand on your balls, man. Yeah. I'm not minimizing the fact that it's probably very difficult. Like, you know what I'm saying? But I just feel like you'll be happier in the end. It's going to be difficult being yourself, but you can't live for everybody. That's right. It's probably more difficult, like, ducking and dodging, you know? You never know. It'll probably work out. Yeah. Yeah. You just have to probably co- change completely all the people in your life, and that's okay. And that's fine. That's You'll part of the people that you needed to change. That's right. You're moving on to who you are, metamorphing. Yeah. So he's innocent. So who killed the girl? Who killed Paige and who did? It doesn't right. matter. It matters. It's not to us. That's the police. That's business. true. Like we're we're only hired okay. for him. For so him. yeah. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> but you kind of really want to know. I would want to know. <laughs> It would bug me. Gotta believe him. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I am on. You've served my country. That's your ass, Mr. President. I'm honored. He's like, ooh, I gotta. Sir. My bully is saying something to me. <laughs> it didn't crawl back up inside me. <laughs> I am a shriveled man. <laughs> Oh man! Okay, yes. That's standing was... ovation. <laughs> uh, oh, I forgot how bomb that pilot was. Oh my god, it's been years. I when did this come out? Like 2012? I don't even know. It, it's been a minute. It's 2000. Yeah, I can tell. It's definitely been yeah. a little while, but yeah, it's yeah, it was entertaining. Girl, yeah. Ooh, crazy. Yeah, I forgot they did the whole reveal in the first episode. Oh my gosh, I thought it took, I don't know why, I just thought it took like a few episodes. They got into it. I had heard about, you know, you hear things, Mm -hmm. I don't know what's going on in the scandal world. Yeah. TikTok, when Instagram, they would say some things about Olivia Pope. Yeah. With the president. Right, exactly. So I kind of, yeah, I knew that they had a fling. Yeah. Or something was going on. Right. They were like... They still be doing photo shoots and stuff together from time to time and people will be like, what is going on? Yeah, I saw the Halloween one. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's hilarious. <laughs> hilarious. People are like, their wife and husband are the strongest soldiers because they still <laughs> look in love, you know? <laughs> yeah, you guys, so that was scandal. That was our introductory to the gladiators and Sue's, Olivia Pope nice. and Associates. Yes. We met um, Fitzgerald Grant, the president. Cyrus Bean and Huck and um, Harrison and um, what's that girl name? The one they hired? Quinn. They okay. hired Quinn on and she got to really see the inner workings of, you know, what they do. Okay. They're okay. fixers. <laughs> so, yeah, guys, yeah. that was Scandal episode one. So, thank you guys for watching with us and we'll definitely be finishing this series. The whole episode will be on Patreon unedited and all our uploads are there early. Like right after we film, they're up there probably same day and it takes a while for the edited versions to hit YouTube. So if you want to see them early without cuts, they're going to be right there and you can join right, you can click right here in the description for our Patreon and we will see you guys soon. Bye.